Confidence comes in two forms. Confidence in the society itself and self-confidence. We don't have a confident people. Even our politicians are not confident. If you see them talking to people that they go begging for money from, and you will see clearly that they lack confidence. When you lack confidence, you cannot deliver even your own program. Because somebody who doesn't understand your system will direct you to do that which will destroy your system. Political party manifestos must address the issue of how we drive confidence in the society and in the economy and among ourselves. In any event, it is important to understand that lack of confidence is one of the things which is contributing to the seventh problem that they need to address, brain drain. The Nigerians call it Jakba. It was there in the 70s and 80s. It's become worse. Brain drain has really, really heightened. November, many, many people left to do care in the UK and the rest. And somebody must address that issue. Indeed, there's a new form of brain drain, which is where our IT experts are actually sitting here, but working outside. There is nothing wrong with it. The surprising thing is when they make innovative inventions, they have to register it in the likes of Delaware in order that they can raise capital. So even the money that we create from the innovation I support somebody else's economy and not our economy. To what extent we can stem the tide of brain drain in all its forms has to be a specific portion of the manifestos and I have not found this in any of the manifestos. Independence of Bank of Ghana. I can go on and on about that. Suffice to say that it should be clear in manifestos that the Bank of Ghana will be allowed to be very independent and the government will not go above its borrowing limits because clearly it is when it goes above the borrowing limits that we have inflation and we have all the kind of challenges that we do face. My only challenge with the central bank, and I've said this several times, that I think we need to hear more than inflation targeting. Now, I have no problems with inflation targeting per se, but clearly the number of things that cause problems of inflation and challenges of our economy goes beyond inflation targeting. And limiting our strategy to inflation targeting makes us design our economic strategies on the basis of an economy like an advanced country's economy. And I think we need to do more than that. And I, I mean, there are several things that we can do between Bank of Ghana and the, the, the central government if the manifesto addresses it regarding issues of scarcity, the scarcity mindset, the, the, the inadequacy of supply, etc., etc. These are multiplier things that we need to tackle. Widening the tax bracket. There must be a specific provision. This I found in a few of the manifestos, but they are not adequately addressed. There are two things that we need to do, we need to do regarding widening the tax bracket and generating income. The first one is bringing in the informal and the, the many other people into the bracket instead of taxing people over and over. So I expect to see promises in manifesto which specifically goes to limit, putting a stop to taxing the same people more. Let me give an example. And I said this before, when E-Levy was being launched, that since everybody was now using Momo, or most people were using Momo, I thought the best thing we could have done was to have actually asked the banks to convert all Momo into bank accounts. And the reason why we should do that is simply because 16 million people vote, which means that more than the people above 18 are more than six, about 16 million. But only 5 million or less have bank accounts. So you have 11 million people who don't have bank accounts at, at all. So if they are using Momo and you converted all that into bank accounts, you immediately bring them into the economy and you have a financial deepening and, and inclusion. That way, for those who don't have tax, tax identification numbers, you can introduce a turnover tax for them. They are the ones who must pay e levy. Because you don't have a tax identification number, every transaction through your book must have 5% turnover tax deducted. It forces people to get a tax identification number. Because if you have a tax identification number, you'll be paying your tax, and I don't have to deduct anything from. That way, we bring people into the tax bracket immediately. We can also find other ways of generating income, especially through SOEs, who have become a burden on government. And I am not in favor of privatizing SOEs, because if you do, the example shows that the SOEs we privatized did not become private, profitable in private hands either. I believe that government can do business, but it must do business as business. 
Ethiopian Airlines belongs to government and it makes a lot of profit because it's allowed to do business as business. But if the government keeps appointing bots who don't have the savviness to manage SOEs, SOEs become a burden on government. These are just two suggestions, but there are many of them that can be done in order to generate more income for government.